Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to look at a brass catcher and why you should consider getting one. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to look at a brass catcher that I got in from Amazon. Uh, this will be in my Amazon store, take a look. Uh, it gets really good reviews. This was, They have a few different vari variations on Amazon. This one got the, some of the better reviews that I saw. It's by a company called Fiat. We'll come in this cardboard box. Simple instructions. The uh, it comes in a uh, you'll have the bag itself, a metal frame, a couple of this attachment, and a couple of these attachments. So let's talk about why you would need one. So bench rest shooters. So guys that reload want to make sure they're policing the brass, keeping it um, in good condition, and things like that. Uh, those type guys. Uh, sometimes the range itself has range rules that you're not supposed to leave loose brass around. Something like this would come in handy. Uh, indoor ranges. If you ever been to an indoor range, I'm sure you've seen. If you hadn't been to one, you've probably seen some videos. It's got kind of the box thing. You stand in and shoot and they're bouncing off the wall and going everywhere and back on you and everything, something like this would prevent some of that. Uh, if you're a reloader, just general reloader, and want to uh, save some money, be able to reload, this makes it much easier to pick up your brass um, and uh, that sort of thing. AR-10 shooters, AR-15 shooters, anybody that shoots a, a semi-automatic, this right here would do really well with. Uh, precision shooters that shoot uh, semi-automatics. Uh, and the reason I say semi-automatics, bolt actions, this would be a little difficult to figure out. It does need a Picatinny rail to mount it, that's why I'm saying that. Uh, another thing is uh, maybe you don't want to reload, but just selling your brass. Uh, just a cursory search on the internet, I saw where a thousand rounds of once fired brass, and it was a mixed uh, stamping. So in other words, it might have had some military, uh, Lake City stuff, it might have had federal, it had whatever, but it was once fired brass. Uh, on, on average, it was about $130 a thousand. Also, as of recent, because of shortages and things like that, I've noticed at some of my local gun stores where they were selling once fired brass or used brass. I don't know if it was once fired, but it was used brass. They're putting them in Ziploc bags and have a table and they're selling them. So you could actually either sell it to the gun store itself or maybe they'd allow you to put it on consignment, things like that. Uh, you know, break it into, you know, 100 rounds, 500 rounds, however you wanted to break it up and be able to recoup some of your money on buying new ammo in the future. So just a thought there. Um, so something like this would help you do that more efficiently than trying to go, you know, pick up your brass and uh, strain your back uh, picking up a bunch of brass at range or something like that so I think they do have a good um, usage and that's why I decided to get one in I've got a couple I've got this one and I've got another one a company's actually going to send me uh, we'll do a separate review about that the reason I like this one, it got really good reviews. Um, the construction's pretty simple. It's a wire frame, uh, and then you put the mesh bag on. It, I will be honest with you, it took me a little bit to figure this out. The instructions are not that great. They're okay, uh, but I was able to figure it out. It took me a little bit. And the second thing that took me a little bit to figure out is how to mount it um, on the firearm, because you got to think about that when you do it. Uh, the other thing I liked about this you get two of these, which are mounting brackets that you can uh, put on two different guns. A couple of the other uh, that are for sale on Amazon and other places, you have to buy this separate if you want a separate uh, extra piece. So I like the idea that I could put one on this, put one on an AR-10, whatever that I want to catch brass, I could at least have it on two firearms that I didn't have to take it off. It's pretty simple to take on and off. Uh, they do include the two tools uh, for mounting everything and they include some extra screws. Uh, for this mounting piece here. This clamps on, show you that, that clamps on to this rail here like that. But simple mesh bag, uh, this right here supposedly their Gen 2 or their newest generation of it with a little heavier mesh, um, you know, melt proof, blah, blah, blah mesh, but uh, it's, uh, rest of it's Cordura, Velcro, 
uh, Velcro's on, nothing else than that. Uh, you have to mount this piece here. And uh, if you notice, it says Fiocchi across the top or Fiocchi across the top. Uh, I've darkened that so it's not as bright white. Um, but it just kind of clamps on. Uh, this is adjustable and you might need to adjust it. If you notice, you would think you would just put it in the center and be done with it. You, not depends on your application and we'll talk about that here in just a second, but you'll need to adjust it uh, one way or another. Simple on off uh, push button here uh, allows for ease of taking this on and off to clear malfunctions or to clear out the brass or whatever. Another option, if you didn't want to just truly catch your brass in this and you didn't want to have to do that, uh, you could simply leave this unzipped. It would keep the brass from flying and then just drop at your feet. So that's another option, just leaving that unzipped the whole time. If not, you would fill this up. Usually about, I think, 30 to 60 rounds would fit in here. Unzip it, dump them out in a bucket or whatever you want to catch them in, and then just zip it back up. Uh, one negative about this, if you're using drum magazines, which would be awful convenient to catch all that brass if you're shooting something like a drum. Now, the double-sided drum, you cannot use this. It will not fit this and the drum on there. Uh, a single drum would probably work. I hadn't tested that yet, but just based on what I'm looking at here, I think it would work. I'll show you this real quick. Simple on and off. And I'll show you off the firearm first. So if you look, it's got these little kind of catches right there, adjustments, so you can adjust this how far it's in and out on the firearm itself, but it simply just slides in just like that by this spring uh, uh, button here. And to put it on, you would simply just slide it up like that, push the button, and then slide it up against your firearm, and now it's gonna catch all the brass that comes out of there. It's behind the, uh, I'll show you this, so it's mounted just behind, the way I've got it set up, just behind the shield deflector. So that's the way it goes up, and it's just going to secure that whole area to be able to catch any brass that comes out. So, but I think everybody should at least own one. Again, if you're just catching your brass, you're obviously not going to catch steel case other than policing the area or something like that, and don't want to have uh, ammo, you know, shell casing playing everywhere. Steel case you're not going to be able to sell or do anything with for the most part uh, other than just shoot it once. But brass, actual brass, uh, you would probably want to uh, start saving some of that. Uh, if not, you may want to reload one day. Just keep saving it. It's not going to cost you you know, anything to save it um, if you get something like this. And uh, that way you at least have some backup. You know, you could trade it, whatever, because a lot of people are always looking for reloading components. And brass is obviously one of the major reloading components of that. So, but anyway, guys, check out the Amazon store. There's plenty of other stuff over there you might like. Uh, doesn't cost you anything extra to shop there. Just convenient that I can put it all in a, in there. And Amazon pays us a little small commission on the backside uh, is how that works. So it doesn't really cost you anything extra at all. If you got Amazon Prime, all that's the same. Shipping and everything like that. So pretty convenient. I just put things that I've reviewed or I like or, you know, recommendations, things like that. It's all in those stores. And I've tried categorizing it out, guys. So it's in different uh, sections. Depends on what I'm reviewing and what section I put it in. So anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. If you got any experience with this brass catcher or others or, you know, reason that you think that people, besides what I've named, that might want to consider a brass catcher, be sure to uh, post that in the section below. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys like share and subscribe bring another video shortly have a great day